massive. There's a mass for you. Howdy, caddy. Howdy, caddy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to remove this mass. If we had a calicrate bander, we'd band that and it'd probably drop off. But we're gonna remove it surgically. We've got all our kit here ready. There you go, brother Andrew. Andrew, band it up, Angus. Just gonna, I don't wanna get booted, so we're just gonna put a little, little bit of rope around this leg just to reduce the likelihood of getting kicked. You're all right, man. That should keep her from kicking me and Andrew. We've got the old easy bossy. Ooh. There you go, brother. Cheers. Thank you, Don Finley. And the easy bossy it just kind of quiets her down while we're doing stuff. Pretty right. I'm just gonna give this a bit of a cleanup. That's, that's a distraction device, that easy bossy. Just kind of makes her forget about stuff. Just give that a little bit of a cleanup. Just gonna clip a little bit of this around the edges if she'll let me. are usually pretty vascular so we might need to might need to ligate this a bit once we get it off just a funny little mouth sometimes people have little lumps and bumps cows are the same Angus breed had a really cool uh, genetic disorder called DD some of the cows had extra legs and all sorts of stuff just a, on the genetics, nothing severe. No radiation or anything like that. Just one of those weird things. Put the hand scrub there. Bit of scrub for her. This chlorhexidine scrub, good stuff. Not a lot of love. We just finished AI on this girl. Man, that's a really weird little mess. That'd all just be fat. There'd be a big old bleeder from supplying that, coming in probably here from the top. So I'll need to ligate that. There's probably gonna be a good squirter squirter that we'll need to ligate. Got a bit of lignocaine here. We got that distraction device working a freaking treat. Because as you know, she's not really jumping around when we're manipulating this. Hopefully she won't make kick her here. Kick her needle, kick us when you need us. Hey, it's okay. It's a little poke. Got a huge bit of lignocaine in this bad boy. These old distraction devices are cool, eh? Yeah. Like I reckon there'd be no way in heck she'd be quiet like this. We have not sedated her. We just use that, that easy bossy up there. Stick yourself in the finger. It's a lot quicker if you don't use a needle on this stuff. Also, you don't recontaminate your bottle and you can use the same needle you used before. Pretty handy trick, folks. Oh, you're okay, you're okay. We're your friends. All right, I'm gonna let that settle in for a little bit. Takes a little bit of time for that to work. I'm gonna go grab my needle drivers because I forgot them. And uh, hopefully she'll keep staying here quietly. She's pretty relaxed. Trust your needle drivers, drive them needles. Also Hagers, cutter, grabber. Beautiful. Reach into my bucket. There's a scalpel in there. Be careful reaching into your bucket with scalpels in it, team. Good way to hurt yourself. <laughs> All right, we're going to remove this. It's probably going to bleed a bit. And then we're going to ligate any bleeders. And go for it. That should be a bit numb now. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. 
So the key is on these sorts of things, nice quick cuts, kind of like when you're lancing an abscess, so that if she jumps, she's not going to cut things that we don't want to cut. Here's our bleeder that we knew we were going to find, something that's been supplying this mass. Obviously this mass frequently has blood supply. cuts guys but we don't wear the scalpel so she doesn't wear the scalpel oh that's pretty cool i can go over there see that just half the camera man a little bit of a bleeder there <laughs> okay now we just need to grab that bleeder which we knew we were going to find We'll pull that string out one more time. That's just to stop it from bleeding in the short term. There we go. We got most of those bleeders sorted. Come back in here and get our best pair of bleeders. <coughs> We're going to use absorbable sutures so that when, when Foldsy doesn't have to bring this girl back in. like leather. Lots of little capillaries are bleeding. Once we get this stitched up, that'll slow, they'll have time to clot.
Okay. Okay. This braided absorbable is awesome stuff, but it really doesn't like staying in the in the eyelet of the needle very much. Pretty good stuff. It's good for about a couple weeks, which should give time for this to knit down. On the last stitch, I'll turn it around and go the other direction. I just kind of try to pull everything a bit as tight as I can on the closure. Girl. He's pissed at me, I think. <laughs> and we'll give her some antibiotics while we've got this easy bossy doing its job. Put a bit of purple spray on that. Just to keep our, our friendly little winged friends away. Australia's renowned for them. It's actually the national bird of Australia. <laughs> Bugger the bald eagle, you reckon? I'll give her these needles. Put out a Martian, nail for 10 folks. Should probably weighs 350. That's kilos. Those of you in North America, or at least those of you in America, the only country in the world other than Belize that still uses the pound. Alright, a little bit of Malox cam, anti-inflammatory. Make her feel good. Make me feel good. Make you feel good.
stuff's supposed to not hurt. <laughs> Please help him. Alright. Get this rope off and she's off to the rodeo, brother. Yeah, you can disconnect that. Thanks, Bouncy. Righto, team. Off she goes. Into the horizon. Yes, sir, bro.